Hello, my name is Christine Jensen and I'm reporting from Lantana, Florida. Have you ever given any thought as to how an elderly person would handle a situation if a disaster struck? In the next few minutes, I want to discuss some situations that an elderly person may be put into and ask a few questions of an elderly person as to their plan and if they even have one. Since I am in Florida, I'm going to be focusing on hurricanes as our potential disaster. This house behind me is owned by my grandparents, who are both in their late 80s. As you can see, putting shutters on a house like this is not an easy task. Luckily, my grandparents have a large extended family that is able to help them when it comes to this when a hurricane is on its way. But not all elderly people have this available to them. There are also issues when it comes to transportation. Should they stay in their house or should they go seek shelter? If they go to a shelter though, how would they get there? And if they can no longer drive, that becomes a bigger issue. As you can see, the elderly have many more issues than we have to worry about when it comes to a potential disaster and they have a lot more concerns weighing on their shoulders. Let's take a moment to talk to an elderly person to ask them disaster key related questions. Hello, this is Mr. and Mrs. Day and I'm going to ask you guys a few questions. Okay. Okay, do you both have a disaster plan for yourself? You're talking about a hurricane mm -hmm. disaster? Yes, we do. And what exactly is your plan and how would you prepare for it when a storm is coming? Well, the standard uh, procedures of uh, getting water and uh, we have uh, a, a generator so after the hurricane we can have uh, electricity in the house to keep our food good. And I'd be out getting food for the and storm. And we have a, uh, a special room for hurricanes so we, we try or two. Okay, and if a severe hurricane hits South Florida, would you do you plan to stay in the house? Oh yes. Yeah, probably so. Because we have, we'll stay in our hurricane room. And uh, you forgot to mention we put hurricane shutters up. <laughs> oh well, that's right. Yeah. And would you ever consider going to stay at a shelter? No. I don't think so. No. Okay. Well, our house is up on a ridge, so there's no chance of flooding. Okay. And since you both are in quite good health and are able to drive, do you plan on helping others your age in the area? We don't know anybody our age in the area, but uh, we would help out anyway. Certainly we help whoever needs help. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Well, we enjoyed it. So, as you can see, there are a lot of issues to consider when it comes to the elderly and disasters. The elderly are at a higher risk of getting hurt in a disaster situation and need to prepare so that they are well equipped for when a disaster strikes.